into the woods. And welcome back to another simple stick project. And this one is the second part of my one all about cooking jigs. So obviously in the last video we looked at three very very simple ones. In this one we're going to look at a couple more and they they're very very similar. Perhaps these ones are a little bit more suited somewhere that you're going to be for perhaps a couple of nights or more. They use the same kit to make them i.e your knife and probably a pruning saw and and that is about all and I'll take you through them right now. Now, as I explained in the last video, when I'm out about normally, if I just want some boiling water for a hot cup of tea, well, I'll light myself a fire and then I'll push my metal mug in by the side. Pot hangers, probably more suited to an in-camp environment and also when you're cooking meals because you don't want to go straight to a fast boil. You may want to bring the water up to temperature and then simmer it for a while, particularly if you were cooking. The pot hangers that we looked at last time, or cooking rigs, they gave you that ability. They allowed you to adjust the height of the pan over the fire to control it, whether you want the water to boil quickly or whether you just want it on a gentle simmer to keep that temperature ticking over. It allowed you to do that. And the two that we're going to look at in, in this video are no different, but one of them also gives us the ability to be able to suspend more than one pot over the fire so if you're cooking for large numbers or perhaps if you're cooking a meal where there are seven different several different elements perhaps you've got pasta in one pan but you want your bolognese in another pan well this particular setup gives you the adaptability to be able to do it now both of these pot hangers have one common part and it's this and this all it is is a simple straight stick. In it we have these little bird's beak notches carved and you can see they go in quite a way, pretty much halfway. And then they have this little apex and most of them point down that way except for one and that's the one at the bottom end and that one points the opposite way so that one is pointing up when you carve it. And this is what gives us our adjustability. On this end we can hang our pot. These allow us to suspend that pot at differing heights over the fire. Now I'm going to show you a couple of ways of actually making the rig that these fit into. But both are incredibly simple to do. So for the first one, as well as this stick, our adjustable stick, you're also going to need four other pieces. The first one, well, you're going to need a little hook stick like that. Ideally fairly short with a piece coming out the side which is a, a little arm that's going to help us peg part of the rig to the ground. You're then also going to want one long cooking arm. Ideally almost two arm spans wide and one end of it, ideally the thinner end, into that you're going to carve or slice it off almost flat so you're making a chisel like point and into that you're going to add a little tiny notch just inside that flat edge. As well as that you're also going to want two other parts and that's these. A couple of crossed stick or straight sticks with a couple of little side branches and those are going to be our main supports on our pot hanger. So I've got my pan of water, I've got my fire, so I'm going to take my long stick first and I'm going to work out roughly where it needs to be to be over the centre of the fire, which is probably about there. Then I'm going to take my two fork sticks and I'm going to place those in next to the fire. Like so. And then this one is going to rest on the top. I angle that back very slightly. And then this one, I'm going to peg that over the ends of the long pole. So when the weight goes on there, there's no danger of it 
tipping up. So my cooking arm's in place, I've got my little adjustable pot hook and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pan of water and I'm going to hook it on to that bottom notch, the one that points upwards. Then these little bird's beak notches, the ones that are facing downwards, I'm going to use those to hook into the end of the pot hanger stick. Like so. Now this one is called the Burtonsville rig uh, and it was popularised by Morse Kahansky and apparently uh, he'd seen it used on Burtonsville Island and that's where it came from. It's a great setup, it's super adjustable and if you put it together properly it's pretty stable as well. Everyone thinks oh it's a bit of a balancing act but if you've constructed it correctly it's super super simple and super practical. Now that smoke is really chasing me today. Um, so there you go, that's the Burtonsville rig. Very, very simple, super adjustable, easy to put together. The next one I'm gonna show you, well, that one caters for if you've got more than one pan, because there will be occasions where you perhaps, <clears throat> you need a cooking pan, but you also wanna keep a kettle going over the fire, so you've always got hot water. And this, again, super simple rig, will take care of that too. So for this next super simple cooking rig, you're gonna need an adjustable stick, one for each pan. I'm doing two pans, so I've got two of my adjuster sticks. I've also got one long pole. And for each pan, I've put a little paracord loop. No super, super knots, just I've done a couple of jam knots, one on either side, and that gives me these little loops. I'm then also going to need, well, you need some way of suspending that long pole over the fire. I'm gonna use two fork sticks that are about chest height, and I've also got, over in the background there, off to the side of my fire, a little sapling that's got a, a side branch coming out of it. First job I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my long stick, I'm gonna place it, into that fork branch. I'm then going to take my two fork sticks and I'm going to place them underneath my support stick. Spread those out to make those nice and stable and then I'm going to adjust it so it's over the fire. So then I adjust my little paracord loops so that they are directly above the fire. I then take my pot hanger stick and I pass it through the loop like so. I'll then hook it into that loop using those little notches. On the other end I can put my pan and I can move it up or down as I please. And then when I need to put a second pan on I just repeat so I take another stick Pass it up through there, put that onto there, hook my little pan handles into there. Voila. Super simple stick project. So there you go two super simple stick projects which make camp cooking a whole lot easier particularly with this one if you've got multiple pans on the go i know i've done a couple of quite big jobs where i've had five or six different pans all hanging over a big long fire and this is an ideal system for just such an occasion
So there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, then remember to hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Down below in the description box, you will find links to my social media. So Instagram, Facebook, etc. Pop over there, give me a follow. And there is also a link down there to my Etsy shop. Pop over there where you can get yourself the little green craft patch. Um, and there's a few other bits and pieces that I sell over there too. So pop over there, have a look, show your support for the channel by getting yourself a patch. I think that's everything. I've been Neil, and until next time, stay safe.